All right, hello, hello. Today we are going to be working on a pit guard for a Gretsch White Falcon, specifically William Heschel of Blood Red Boots, Gretsch White Falcon. Um, and we are going to be making this pit guard out of vinyl. So uh, what I have here uh, this is two records, which I just uh, laminated together with some epoxy. And we are going to make a pattern and then we are going to go ahead and cut out a pick card so stick with me all right so first things first we're going to just trace this out piece of paper this will allow us to uh, attach this to the piece of plywood beneath it using uh, a spray adhesive and then I can go ahead and cut that out on the bandsaw without uh, chopping up William's pit guard. And that'll be great because we don't want to chop up William's pit guard because that just creates bad feelings between everyone and expensive bad feelings. So here, as you can see, we're just cutting out that pattern on the piece of plywood. Uh, we went ahead and attached it with spray adhesive and basically just taking really small cuts here because it's a lot easier to take more wood off than put wood back on. Um, this does not have to be exact. I'm basically cutting it down to about a millimeter, and then I'll go ahead and I'll finish the rest off on the sander. So now we've gotten pretty close to that line, and uh, once we're about a millimeter away from that uh, traced out area, we are going to just take it over to the spindle sander and sand everything up so it's nice and exact. Uh, you don't see it, but we did do a little bit on the disc sander. So after the bandsaw and a little bit of sanding, we are left with this, which as you can see is a more or less perfect replica of this. It's got a little bit of overhang here, which I kind of like just because it allows me to sand down the final product. I also went ahead with the drill press and put the holes in there corresponding to the holes there to mount it on the guitar. So the next step is going to be to mount this on here wherever I want. I'm going to use double sided tape and then I will roughly cut that out with a bandsaw and then I can go ahead and use a bearing bit on a router to uh, trim it up. So as you can see, uh, I've gone ahead and attached the template I made out of plywood to our laminated vinyl using double stick tape. Here I'm just trimming around the edges, getting the vinyl a little closer to the template so that my router bit has an easier job trimming it up and getting it down to size. So here you can see a beautiful shot of the back of my hands. If you could see through my hands, uh, you would see that I am in fact using a roundover bit to trim up the edges and uh, get that vinyl exactly down to the size of the template. Um, if you listen carefully, you can hear the squeaky mosquito sound of my router table sped up eight times. And I know you'll all love that. So I'm just going around the edges here, using a roundover bit to clean it all up, make it nice and smooth, taking my time, all that wonderful stuff. Because, quite frankly, router tables are a joy of life. And if you don't route things at least a hundred times, why even bother? Alright, so uh, as you can see we are done routing around there. Now uh, just have to countersink these holes a little bit and we'll be good to go. Alright, and so YouTube, here we are. We have the original pick guard for the Gretsch White Falcon and now we have the new one made out of vinyl for all you hipsters out there woo so thank you for watching have a great day